Look, so when I first saw the trailer for Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, I was really excited because it looked cool. It looked like it had kind of like this X-Men type feel, you know, maybe Miss Peregrine being kind of like a type of Professor X and these extraordinary children. But it was set to kind of like this, this Lord of the Rings or this Harry Potter type tone. So I was like, oh, okay. Like this looks like it's pretty interesting. So I went to check it out. Let's talk about it. Barside movie reviews so this story is directed by tim burton and it stars asa butterfield ava green and samuel jackson now let me just give you a quick synopsis of the film of course no spoilers so that you understand when i start talking about how i felt about the film so this follows the story of a grandson and a grandfather and the grandfather is telling his grandson all of these stories these larger than life stories and he tells them about this story about a home that he used to visit from his past with very, very strange children. But the grandson doesn't really believe what the grandfather is saying until eventually he searches for this place that the grandfather is talking about and he finds it and he actually meets all of these peculiar or strange individuals that the grandfather mentions in his tales. And from there, this whole adventure ensues. And that's all I'll say without spoiling the film for you. All right, Farsiders, so here's the deal. This film was just okay for me. And the big problem I had with this film, you know what it is? It's the pacing of this film. This thing tracks so slowly that it is crazy hard to get through, which is crazy, right? Because when it first started, it does take you through the sequence and you're like, oh, oh man, this is gonna be like a nice ride. And then boo, it just screeches to this halt and it paces very slowly throughout the whole film. And I really, really had a hard time actually getting through the whole thing without constantly checking my watch. I also had an issue with this film like visually and when I say that I mean like literally visually like cinematically it just looked dull kind of boring kind of flat which is not what I was expecting from a Tim Burton film I really had a problem with that because with Tim Burton films I'm, I'm expecting like these bizarre images these these kind of kind of offbeat bizarre colors didn't really get much of that at all in this film. It was very, very flat. I also had a problem with the acting in this film with Asa Butterfield, who did much better in Ender's Game and much better in Hugo. His acting in this film, again, seemed very flat to me and sometimes seemed overacted, just not very believable as the grandson in this film. I actually felt the same way about Sam Jackson. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, dude, you crazy, man. Sam was great in this film, bro. Not to me. I always have a problem with Sam Jackson when he plays kind of these bad guys that are very, very... Uh, over the top. They just don't work for him as an actor. And I don't believe them anytime I see them, whether they be in this film or another film. So I had a problem with that as well. And then the final problem I had with this film was really just the the kids, the peculiar children. We didn't really see enough of why they were peculiar. Now, don't get me wrong. The film does a good job of setting up how they are peculiar, but we don't get to see why they got that way. And we also don't get to see them use their peculiarities enough in the film. And if I'm going to watch a film called Miss Peregrine's Home for uh, Miss, Miss Peregrine, where's Durban? Durban, uh, Durban, if you're watching this, you, now you've got me saying the name wrong too. Durban will know what that means if he sees this. Um, so if I'm watching a film called Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I don't see enough of their peculiarities, I have a problem with that. And I had a problem with that in this film as well. But this film is not all bad. One of the things that are really, really good about this film is just the idea of the story is really, really good. I just don't think it was executed very well in this film. I won't spoil that for you either because you might check it out. And also probably the highlight of this film was the acting by Ava Green. She is amazing in this film. Ava Green is probably very unsung to me, at least here in the US. She's a French actress, but she is amazing in this film. Her subtle movements, her body movements, the way she carries herself, and the way she uses her eyes with the camera. If you've seen Ava in anything else, you'll notice that, that she does a really, really good job of communicating with her eyes in very subtle and sometimes very striking ways. And this is no different in how she portrays Miss Peregrine in this movie. So she was really, really good in this film. All in all, I thought that Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children was just okay. If I had to give it a grade, I would probably give it a C minus. And I would say if you enjoyed the books, I have no experience with the books, then check it out. You might think the film is actually a good depiction of the books. But just for me, first time experience actually seeing the film, I just wish that it would have been done in a much more uh, powerful way, especially visually given the background of the director, Tim Burton. So those are my thoughts. Check it out. See what you think. Please comment below if you disagree with me or if you think I'm crazy, if you loved it, if you hated it. Whatever you have to share, comment below, give it a like. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe and 
be a part of the community. Take care, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Hey, you guys, it's Al again, and you know I like to come on and just thank you for taking the time out to watch this review of Miss Peregrine's home for Peculiar Children. It was just okay for me, but that's just one man's opinion. If you see it and you like it, come back and comment and share your thoughts on it. Uh, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you like the review, and make sure that you subscribe, join the community, so we can talk more movies. You can see my social media stuff is over here somewhere, and then my latest review is over there as well. Thank you guys so much again, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.